bottom of the second inning. Cardinals up one game to none, but the Dodgers lead this one one to nothing on a Jason Worth home run. Breaking ball is in for a strike to Renteria. Edgar Renteria is in his final year under contract with the Cardinals. Cardinals have made offers. He has turned them down. Trying to bloop one in, and that is a base hit. It gets behind the right fielder Bradley, and Milton Bradley played a single into a double. Bradley trying to do too much, and now it's Reggie Sanders. With a push bunt. Tough play for Cora. Safe at first. That surprised everybody. Now it's a number eight hitter, Matheny, who is a career 310 postseason hitter. He homered in game one. And the point is, if Bradley plays that ball a, a little safer than he did, then you've got a runner at first base. If Sanders elects to bunt, you bunt him to second, and then the Cardinals have to depend on the eighth and ninth hitters to get him in. That's the problem with that play Bradley made a little too aggressive. Just outside one ball one strike. Matheny at the plate dealing with Weaver first and third nobody out. And check on Sanders. Tony La Russa, a guy who loves the squeeze bunt, normally with nobody out, you wouldn't think about squeezing, particularly early in the game. Two balls and a strike. But if you do bunt here to tie, then you do have a, a, a pitcher coming up who can handle the bat. So in the process of bunting you not only score a run but move another one into scoring position. A pop up behind short. That's a big out for Weaver as Turris pulls it in one down. He drove home nine runs during the regular season. Had 21 hits. Led all pitchers in that category and was number two in the RBI department. Yeah, Jeff Weaver stepping off, uh, trying to get Marquis to commit. I don't think there's any way he's bunting here. Too good a hitter. There have been a couple of times this season where Tony La Russa has had Matheny bunt runners into scoring position for Marquis. So forget the bunt. Breaking ball for strike one. A double, a bunt single, a pop up. And that gets away from Green. In to score is the tying run Renteria. That'll be an error. Green very lackadaisical taking that throw from Weaver. Marquis strike two. They've given the error to the pitcher. But there wasn't much wrong with that throw over to first by Weaver. No. Ball probably sailed on him a little bit and into the runner. Runner at second, one out. Tie game now. And a ball to Marquis. Yeah, that is a throw that uh, Sean Green's got to come up with. 
I think the overriding point is why even take a chance anyway with a runner at third base. Marquis pops it up right at home plate. David Ross for out number two. Ball one. Scouts who see Weaver pitch these days say he is throwing harder than ever. And you can hear the mitt pop when he brings on these fastballs. One out. Down the stretch Jeff Weaver pitched in some very important games for the Dodgers and down the stretch he struggled. Last six starts he went one and three. Allowed six home runs along the way. He's got to challenge Womack on two and zero with Walker on deck. And Womack pops it up right side. Foul ball and out of play. Two and one. Even though that pitch was a strike, it wasn't the type of strike that Tony Womack should be swinging at two and zero. Both leadoff batters is Turris and Womack are guys that want to hit the ball on the ground. His tourists with a lot of singles, the same with Tony Womack. And sometimes the little guys become infatuated with their power. Tony's not going to hit the ball out of the park. The Cardinals need a hit. And Mitchell Page knows that. He's the Cardinal hitting instructor. 2 1. 3 and 1. Kettle is at the plate. The fire is on deck. A 3 1. Full count. This would definitely be in the category of a cheap run. The Cardinals have scored here in the second. Tie of the game, and now they have a chance with Womack up to take the lead. Into right field. Bradley is back on the run. Can't get it. Over his head. Two to one, St. Louis, and Womack will end up at third. Runner at third, two down. That's a fair ball. Three to one, St. Louis, and Walker will dig for second and make it. Breaking ball for a strike. Walker has made some splash with his Cardinal team. Picked up in August after the trading deadline from Colorado. He hit two home runs in game one. A second chance at postseason play. He has an RBI tonight as Pujols falls into the hole 0 2. Joe, during the last two weeks, Jack LaLanne, the famous Jack LaLanne, has turned 90. And thinking about his body, it's like the Cardinal lineup. No soft spots <laughs> at 90 years old. The Jack Lane reference. <laughs> Runner at second, two out, no balls, two strikes. Pujols fights it off. Extra base hits in the inning for St. Louis. A three-run second. And how Ross 
came up with that. I have no idea. What a great play. We talked about Matheny and how he squares up. Sometimes a catcher can't do that. Watch this play by David Ross. Brilliant. That keeps Walker at second base. He's in with two out. That will not keep Walker at second base. He's at third. The wild pitch puts another run 90 feet away. That's a curveball. And David Ross cannot come up with it. He doesn't approach that ball properly. Tried to backhand it and hit the heel of the glove, and Walker's at third. 123 RBIs during the regular season for Pujols. Two for four in this series to this point. If you're a hitter, you can guess he's thrown one wild pitch and another one that was almost a wild pitch. I don't think he's going to throw a curveball here. Fastball inside or away to Pujols. Up and away, and it's three and two. He's too skittish to throw a breaking ball. Weaver has some odd mood swings during the course of the game. No question about it. That's been the label and the, the right label on Jeff Weaver. That intensity from time to time can work against him. Pujol stays alive as he spoils a nasty breaking ball. We saw Weaver pitch in a game at Boston where things didn't go right behind him and it looked like he mentally checked himself out of the game while he was still out on the mound as Wilson Alvarez the lefty gets loose for the Dodgers. Not a well played inning behind him. Cardinals lead three to one. Pujols grounds to short. His tourist guides it across and that'll do it for the Cardinals in the second. They get three runs. An error in the inning, three to one.